Hello, and welcome to Bay College's video lectures for Math 085. This is section 2.3, Prime Factorization. In the previous section, we talked a little bit about prime numbers and how we determine those. Well, now we're actually going to put them to use. We're going to do what's called prime factorization. And I'm going to give you a heads up. This is one of the most essential tools to have as you move forward in mathematics. So prime factorization just says, I want to break a number down. I want to break it down into its factors. And that's where we get that fancy word factorization. Don't be intimidated by it. We just want to break this down so that we have the product of primes. And what that means is we can use something called a factor tree. And a factor tree says, well, if we want to break a number down, what are two of its multiples? Well, I know 8's an even number, so it's divisible by 2. 2 and what? We could actually do the division. 2 goes into 8 4 times. So we have 2 times 4. And then we assess these. 2 is, our, is a prime number. Is 4 a prime number? No. It is further divisible by 2. 2 times what is 4? Well, 2. Can I break 2 down any further? No, because that's a prime number. So if I want to write it as the prime factors of 8, we find that it's 2 times 2 times 2. These are prime numbers. They're all 2, and 2 is a prime number. Or we could write it as 2 cubed, if we recall our rules of exponents that we introduced in chapter 1. 2 times 2 times 2, well, that's 2 cubed. So the prime factors of 8 are 2 cubed. Let's try a few more examples. Let's look at 75. I'm going to do a factor tree. And the reason why we call it a factor tree is because it looks kind of like a tree when you're done, maybe a pine tree of some sort. 75, I look at this number and I say, it ends in 5, so I know it's divisible by 5. 5 and what? Well, I don't know. Maybe we have to do that long division if I'm not too familiar with uh, my multiples that are a little bit larger. So I say 7 goes into 5 once with a remainder of 2. Now, this method I'm using here, we haven't discussed it, but it's called short division. We know long division. What I'm doing is short division. And it's just a shortcut here. And maybe through practice, you could do this as well. So we determine 5 goes into 7 once with a remainder of 2. So now I'm done with that 7. 5 goes into 25 five times. So now I say, well, I have 5 and 15. Are these prime numbers? Well, 5 is a prime number, but 15 is not. I can further factor that down. Well, 15, I know, it ends in 5, so it's divisible by 5. And now I can say, well, what times 5 is 15? I know it's 3. And 3 and 5 cannot be broken down any further, so it's prime factorization. I have two factors of 5, that's 5 squared, times one factor of 3. So 75 is the same thing as 5 squared times 3. Let's do another one. Here we have 128. Well, maybe I don't see some of the larger factors. So I'm just going to stick with the small ones. I see 128 is an even number, so it has to be divisible by 2. So 2 goes into, doesn't go into 1, but it does go into 12 six times with no remainder. 2 goes into 8 four times. And maybe I see this 64 and I recognize it as a perfect square. So I can say, well, this has factors of 8 times 8. And if, you, if you're really good with shortcuts and you feel comfortable with this, you can say, I already know that 8 is 2 cubed because we just did that example. Or we could continue and say, well, 8 is 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. And we also have this factor of 8, so we've got to continue that. 2 times 4, 2 times 2. So if we look at 128, its prime factorization is I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The larger numbers, you're going to get a larger tree. So the only factors I found when we get to the prime ones, such as 2, they're all 2's. Well, how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the same as 2 to the 7th. So 128 is 7 factors of 2. Well, let's look at 14. 
This one, I can identify some larger factors right away. It's going to shorten up my tree so it's not this big. If I would have recognized you know, some larger factors of this beforehand, maybe like 16, my tree wouldn't have been so long all the way to the bottom of the board. But I look at this number and I say, hey, 140 ends in 0. I know it's divisible by 10 and 14. And now I can break those down because I know 10 is not a prime number. It's 2 times 5. Those are the prime numbers. 14 is 2 times 7. And 2, 5, 2, and 7, these are prime numbers. So I have found the prime factors. So I'm going to write them out. I have two factors of 2 and one factor of 5 and one factor of 7. So the prime factorization of 140 is 2 squared times 5 times 7. All right, let's look at this one right here, 96. This is a good point where you can pause the video and attempt this one yourself. Work it out and see what you get. And good luck on that one. We're going to move to the next board here. It asks us to find two factors of 45 that sum to 14. Here's where we can break it down using prime factorization. Well, what are the factors of 45? That's the first thing we have to determine when we read this. Well, I look at 45 and I say, hey, it is divisible by 5. 5 times what is 45? Well, we find out it's 9. Is 9 a prime number? No, it's divisible by 3. So let's break it down even further. Now we have to look at it and say, well, we want to find the factors that sum to 14. Well, what combination of these factors? If I were to put this back together, I'd get 15. And 3, well, that's 15 is already more than 14. So that's not going to work. If I look at these two factors, 5 and 9, this would sum to 14. So which two factors am I looking for? Am I looking for 5, 3, and 3? Well, that's three factors, so it only has to be two. It's either 15 and 3, or it's 5 and 9. Those are the only two factors that 45 would break down to. So I say 5 plus 9 is 14. These are my two factors. 5 times 9 equals 45. And the sum of these factors equals 14. So 5 and 9 would be my answer. This one here says find two factors of 45 that have a difference of 12. So try this one on your own. You already know the factor tree. What combination of these factors will have a difference of 12? So go ahead and try that on your own. This has been Prime Factorization, Section 2.3. Thank you for watching.